Hey, Fire Kings and Queens, how you guys doing? So good to see you. The baby of the Zodiac. Hi, Aries, how are you? I hope you guys are doing great. Ooh, I'm feeling good, and happy Monday to you. Thank you for joining me at my table, or our table. Look, I ain't the table big enough for all of us. Um, you guys showed up in Virgo's reading, um, and you guys had some... You guys showed up in um, Pisces reading with some, you know, passion and responsibilities that are being taken on. So today we're looking at what is stagnant, um, the stagnant energy, this energy where you feel like, you know, I'm not really moving forward. I'm not moving backwards. I'm just kind of here. I'm existing. I'm a part of whatever is happening. <laughs> and maybe some of you have accepted it, you know, um, while I was posting up, um, Pisces reading I was getting like some type of serious download and you know you guys could be going through that energy when you're in you know this this place of healing and just resting and energizing yourself um for me it sounds like like rainforest never been to one but it, it will be to me what a rainforest sounds like um yeah oh y'all go check out Fern Gully they got that new movie coming out that was my drink when I was a kid so yeah okay so this is for Aries spirit um, what what are they in need of being, you know, in this position of stagnancy? What what is it that you want them to, um, what is it that you want them to understand or take on or to take into consideration? Okay. Okay, so while you're in this place of rest, I think you're supposed to think of, I, I, I swear I feel like this was a portion of your last reading um, with something about, you know, something in the storyline was about you starting to tap into like thinking about different hobbies or, you know, just different things that interested you when you were younger or like just when you were a more happier person. You're taking your time you're putting in you know your pinnacles you're, 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 you're into things and places you know that are growing but do you actually love what you do now the second part of this too is that some of you could be thinking about how you want to invest in what you want to put your time your energy into and right behind you is you know something sincere something um loving something caring you know someone or an energy you know that that is just it's like telling you not to be so hard on yourself kind of because this knight of cups is sitting behind this seven of pentacles and it's almost like this these are you know minor arcana so this is like somebody's typical day somebody needs to take time to love on them maybe is what I'm getting. Mm. Now, too, with that offer in the back is that, because on the bottom of the deck, this is what, you know, you may not be aware of, but Five of Swords, the Lovers, and the Six of Swords. The Five of Swords is a masculine, and it's on the side of the masculine card of the Lovers card. Where the feminine is, it's the Six of Swords. So you've essentially blocked someone off I don't know if you guys were dealing with each other in the past or what, but in the forefront, it's like two people are sad. Somebody's, you know, in silence and or, you know, two people have gone separate ways. Someone's in silence. This masculine is clearly looking at this feminine. She's stating something that brings some type of peace to whatever this silence is and sometimes something that's enlightening. So, you know, and this is the the medicine will, which will, you know, typically be, be the will of fortune. So this is something that, you know, is within divine timing to come into play. Um, you could feel blocked from this energy possibly and not realize that that, you know, that that energy wants to invite you, you know, what I'm saying into a conversation, you know, something peaceful. Um, what is the challenge here? with the Knight of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles for Aries. 
You have the death card. And the emperor in reverse. One more card. And that's your energy. I feel like you're going through some type of deep introspection, um, Aries. Um, you have Scorpio energy with the death card out here. The emperor in the reverse, that's your energy. And then you have this ace of wands, fire energy, which is still your energy. It's like you you've retreated. Like I feel like you're trying to get yourself in like order and alignment. You are, you know, releasing something. Maybe there's something about this emperor energy that you don't want. And it's like this is yours. You need to take it. And it's like it, it it's something that is creative, it's passionate. But I feel like you don't feel like it's safe. I feel like when you Maybe if you was to take on this position, you wouldn't feel like you're on top, maybe. Eight of Wands, the Page of Cups, the Magician, the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like you played like this card out kind of long enough, Aries. Uh, it's kind of like you're trying to still be like this kid or like you're trying to like be in this energy where you're like, well, I'm still learning. And it's just like, no it's your time like this is you this is still your energy you you just you know you're confirming yourself all throughout this like you've been you've been learning you've been taking in i feel like too like you've been you you know what i'm saying you've been learning what manifestation truly is like not just waving the wand you know what i'm saying it's like you're taking it on 656 like with some type of you know desire or an interest like you know you this, but this interest, mm, confirmation, I, I, only you could tell me what that is. So, um, what is the emperor in reverse for Aries spirit? So I feel like, and this could be some of you, your lineage, it's like time for you to take your crown. I feel like maybe in the past, like when y'all may have felt like y'all were this emperor or this person, you know, who wanted to be on top, you were willing to like, you, you gave small offers, but you were like putting into it. You know what I'm saying? You were giving into it. Um, but I feel like too... How do I put it? It's like you were given into something that you were kind of like destined for. And it's kind of like, I, I feel like, why why, why is Aries the emperor in reverse with the page of pentacles to this, to this ace of wands? The empress. The three of pentacles. The ace of cups. Oh. So whoever this is. Okay. <laughs> Maybe you're thinking about who you want to offer your cup to. You know what I'm saying? Like your true cup. Like your soulmate energy cup. And I feel like you have someone in mind that like you would like to build with. That you would like. Like this is, you know, the empress. She can be pregnant. Um, there's three of swords. This is the planting of seeds. This is the ace of cups. It's like over and you know, just being very nurturing, giving, loving, overly loving into this energy. Yeah, and on the bottom of the deck is the Four of Cups, the Moon, and the Hangman, suspended person with the Two of Swords. So you're supposed to think about who it is. Like, this, the stagnancy is about you thinking about who you want to give your offer to. And I feel like, too, with the Emperor in reverse and the Page of Cup, like, Page of Pentacles, you don't, I don't, you might be going through an introspection where you're, you know, you're like, taking care of you you could be like a ghost kind of but at the same time like whomever you were you know having that beginning with you know previously with the ace of wands i don't feel like you want to give in to that anymore because it's kind of like child's play with this page of pentacles here but i feel like with the emperor in reverse and this death card and that deep introspection and then knowing that that the receiving the ace of wands is a gift to you i feel like you are 
thinking about where and how you want to give this cup, who you want to give it to, what elements need to be in place in order to give this offer. Um, one card for the Knight of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles. This is water and earth energy. So you're you're growing this. Yeah, whoa, ho, ho, ho. This idea, you're growing this idea of who your match is with this Queen of Wands energy, who matches you on a spiritual level. The lovers just came out, the Eight of Cups and the Ten of Wands. Like you, is somebody that you want someone who will go this distance with you. Like if they would take on the responsibilities with you, you know what I'm saying? They would help with, you know, showing. And, and please take a look at Pisces reading i told you that you you know your energy showed up with this ten of wands you know this fire this passion this creativity this way of taking um responsibilities and turning them into like i heard cash cow but you know turning them into a profit and in that you know there's this empress queen of pentacles who is learning how to take those things and turn them into a profit but then also how to extend her hand or his hand to others and show them that too now in in uh in oh shit i can't remember with this reading or pisces this you know this guy i think it was this one you know what i'm saying this lover's card had the five of swords you know that masculine energy that was blocking and shutting off this enlightenment from this you know what i'm saying this this six of uh i mean this this lover's energy and this feminine energy over here was the six of swords it was a karma way of thinking a passageway you know what i'm saying like yeah so i, I wow the full yeah you guys are thinking you guys are thinking up and taking time to figure out who it is and manifest the correct being the correct person wow what is your advice for uh for aries you have the ten of swords six of wands yeah definitely check out pisces reading and the ten of wands you have to pick one or the other either you're going to keep dwelling on the betrayal the hurt the pain from this ace of wands and you giving this page of pentacles emperor in reverse like that could have been it you just wasn't acting in the right energy. Like you was not being your sign. You wasn't you weren't being who you were. Like you were being mediocre maybe in the past. But whatever was going on in that, whomever you may have been dealing with, that could have been why the emperor energy is in the reverse. I feel like you can choose to dwell on that or keep being a hater. I'm just gonna say that like you hate and like you being upset about something that you can't change anymore move on babes like come on and and that's not me saying that in a bad way or like hurry up blah, blah, blah. like it's just like what's up like we're now this is right now and that could be it like right now in these winter months with this you know snow on the ground and the bare trees like you you feel like everybody like is just a betrayer <laughs> but these are the same people 1333 that you defend or that you prioritize and at the end of the day how can you look forward if you still holding on to this energy in the back this could be three people it could just it could be like these would be three people that you dealt with you know what i'm saying on any type of level maybe you got papers on them i don't know it's like you're trying to keep some or you try to keep somebody bound to to something like where it's like bloodshed it's just like man walk away you could walk away with this Ten of Wands energy with everything that you've built in this process. Like, whatever this is here, you know, the Three of Wands in front, 1414, that, that belongs to you. And then, too, this could be, like, in the Virgo reading where somebody in the Six of Wands wanted to hold someone to this, like... What, what, oh, yeah, I, I gave a story in, in Pisces reading, like, Misery Loves Company, you know what I'm saying? Or hurt people, hurt people, hurt other people. Someone want to keep you in this hurt, you know, place and phase where you're just always going to be, like, in some type of childlike situation where you, you can't really succeed or grow. But if you go off on your own, who's to say that you wouldn't make it? 
who's to say that you can't manifest this this queen or you know this queen of wands this this um Sagittarius energy or like this you know and, or like that, that that's even you like that, that could be tapping in to that feminine energy of yourself who's to say that you couldn't do it some puny little person that's not even on the queen level like come on man somebody that's hit this 10 has already mastered this whomever you're thinking about even as this queen of wands as this mate to the king of wands like this would be someone ideally who takes their their passion their their wisdom their understandings their glory they'll take it with them and they'll invest it in into the the top like into that dome like they're going to invest it into the most high all right aries that's what i have for you you know in in your state of stagnancy you know just take time you're taking time to develop how you want to deliver yourself as a person Maybe in this emperor in reverse, you are unapproachable. But if your desire is an empress, your desire is this queen of wands, your desire is to properly, you know, and effectively invest in that. Why you got to hold on to hurt energy? Why you got to hold on to hurt people? This six of wands confirmation with a message on my phone, ten of swords, and then the ace of wands. Like, if we reading this backwards, it's like, Somebody is like, here, take all my hurt and pain. Pay, c come, come, give me things so that I can still hurt you and give you pain and make you feel alone and let you not grow. How will Aries know they're growing? One more card. I had to. Ooh. You know you're growing because you'll actually do this. Maybe your empress that your soulmate will come and ask you something or will, pro or will propo proposition or, or propose a, 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 some type of interest towards you or you're going to be ready to your thinking in this energy of propositioning this energy. You're, you're already manifesting it with this four of cups, this Piscean energy, like you're already... You're already thinking this up. This is already a thought, an idea. It's an, it's already some type of illusion. You know, it's already something. Yeah. With the star clarifying it. It's a healing energy. It's a loving energy. It flows. It feels just right. It's like you, you probably be in your head and you're like, oh my God, what do I do? Yeah. Block them. Block them. Instead of blocking off your empress, instead of blocking off that lover's energy that, you know, your soulmate, the options of your soulmate, block off going towards this energy. People who all they want to do is hit you with something, beat you with something. They might want to act like they help you, but they help. It, it, it's really hurt. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't need that. All right, Aries. Peace.